I know I say that all the time, like in my vlogs or whatever, but you know, I've been trying to come up with like an intro, and yeah, that's the one that I have. So anyway, anyway, it's cold in here. It's been raining the past couple days, so it's really cooled down the temperature. Here it is Wednesday. Let's see. What do I have on the agenda today? Um, I had to take a breastfeeding class at 12 today. So I'll be doing that online. Um, I actually woke up really early. Right now it is 9.30. I woke up at um, like 6.37 or something. And I was so hungry. I couldn't even go back to sleep because I was so tired. Um, but yeah, so I ended up going to go eat a mango and I just drank some water and spoke to my husband for a bit and ended up going back to sleep for maybe like an hour, took an hour nap. And now I'm up again. <sighs> I probably would have still been sleeping. Um, other than the fact that I'm super hungry again. <laughs> so my baby just, my baby don't let me, don't let me sleep. If she hungry, so yeah. Um, What else is happening? That's pretty much it. I'm probably gonna be editing a video. Um, a It's okay to love video comes out tonight, so. I'm gonna be probably editing another It's Okay to Love video and then I have to also probably just edit some videos honestly like that's my main concern right now is editing videos so I can get those out. Once I get those situated I feel like I want to start pitching to companies y'all like I've, I've worked with some companies in the past where I, I, you know, they've reached out to me, but I want to start pitching some companies because like I said, I want to be able to do this full time and I'm trying to get to work like for real. I'm trying to get to work. So, you know, I want to be able to, 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 to do this full time, you know, and yeah. I feel like I'm finally getting the support and everything, you know, that I need to be able to do it. I'm learning more. I have more knowledge behind it. Um, there's just a lot of factors that are coming into play now, you know, compared to 10 years ago when I started this. Uh, even more than that, like, I started blogging when I, I started blogging in 2009, okay, my blog. Then I started YouTube in 2012 and I wasn't consistent or anything like that, but um, yeah, like I've just been doing this for a very long time. Like I've been doing this for a very long time. Uh, I was modeling locally, you know, so I was working with different brands and stuff like that here locally, but yeah now now it's time to do it's time to do something different <laughs> so um yeah i'm about to eat some cereal i'm eating cocoa pebbles like y'all that has been my cereal like seriously that has been my cereal throughout my whole pregnancy and um yeah i'm just about to eat that check some emails watch a couple of vlogs before i get Excuse me, before I get started with my own work. Ooh, excuse me. I don't know if y'all can hear that noise back there, but they are cutting down some trees. One of my neighbors, so, um, yeah. I found a bunch of birthing vlogs from, like, black women. Um, which is really great because they are, you know, the unmedicated, positive birthing vlogs that I've been seeing but they've all been um other races let me say 
so I haven't really come across too many black women who have been doing birth vlogs but I found some last night when I was um I was watching a birthing class on YouTube and sitting on my ball while I was trying to wait for some food to digest um drinking my ginger tea <laughs> excuse me my raspberry red leaf tea with ginger is what i was drinking but yeah so um i'll probably just do some of that and then go on about my day yeah so i just wanted to check in with you guys let y'all know what's happening challenges unique struggles or things like that but we can feel so much better and so supported in this journey of motherhood when we're joined by other moms and we feel a part of a community um so as you're coming it's weird shockwave yeah, tempest or something um, it's like mm. it definitely getting more frequent i just got some food i got some hibachi I'm so hungry. So. Mm. We just had another earthquake. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. This food is so good. So, South Carolina has been getting a lot of earthquakes lately. And we just had another one. Like literally just now, just now. And all I can say is revelations, revelations. Anyway, I'm on my break from work and I'm excited because I just got a car seat in. So um, my insurance actually sent a car seat and they give car seats for free. So I'm going to go ahead and open it for y'all. So yeah, that was the car seat that I just got and um another thing that i will get through my insurance is a breast pump and you know that's one of the reasons why my husband and i decided that i would come back to columbia because don't get me wrong the health care you know that they provide is not all that great compared to other countries that may give like free health care or you know uh <laughs> like extra time for maternity leave and all of these other things that you know you see people comparing in health care services but compared to nigeria like there's just so many different things that I have access to here that I may not have access to or I may have to just pay out of pocket for in Nigeria so like yeah Nigeria does offer health care but they don't have Medicaid so right now I'm receiving Medicaid and that means that my health care is free it's completely free um, I may have to pay <clears throat> what's called a copay here and there but other than that like 
my all my doctor's visits i don't have to pay anything it's all covered by the insurance or um, through medicaid uh the car seat that you saw that i have that's covered i i got a completely free car seat from medicaid um you know they offer um the breast pump uh for for free through medicaid so <clears throat> you know there's just a lot of things that that like i said i have access to here in the u.s um while i'm pregnant um that i just don't have access to in nigeria you know i'm also receiving what's called WIC. Um, I know people in the U.S. are going to know what WIC is, but for my Nigerian followers, WIC is, stands for Women, Infant, and Children, and it's a program that offers um, money vouchers for food and different things like that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm also receiving um, when i when i got here i was receiving emergency food stamps because i didn't have a job so i'm also getting ebt which again if you're from the us you know what it is but from the um for my nigerian followers ebt is another government program that gives you money each month for food so for me it's just like and y'all, I'm not embarrassed about any of this stuff. Like when I first got here, I wasn't working. So, you know, not only that, this was one of the reasons why I wanted to come back to the US. And y'all know I am humble, open and transparent. We are hot uh, channel over here. So, you know, I don't mind being transparent with y'all and, you know, sharing these things with y'all because this is my life. I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm perfect. I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm rich or anything like that because I'm not. <laughs> um, you know, but yeah, like I said, this was one of the reasons why we decided that I would come back to the U.S. Because people always ask me that question, you know, well, why are you not having your baby in Nigeria? Da -da -da -da. Y'all, I was watching a... a a Nigerian vlogger who is about to have a baby As a matter of fact I think it's the same girl I was watching the other day her dance video um her yeah her her dance video to induce her labor Dinah Equime <clears throat> I believe I, I'm saying it right but yeah she had a video about you know what she packed in her hospital bag right and there were so many items that she packed in her hospital bag that are are at the hospital here in the U.S. Like, and they give it to you for free. And she's packing all of these things. I mean, like, even down to the pads that you lay on the hospital bed that is supposed to, like, absorb all the liquids and stuff like that. She had to buy a pack of those. <laughs> and take with her to the hospital like the hospital doesn't have those things and for me that was a big eye opener like wow like i'm just really glad that we made this decision for me to come back here you know and yeah i've been here since december and it hasn't been easy you know being without my husband i probably could have came you know a little bit later and stayed with my husband a little bit longer but at the end of the day, God's plan is best, you know? And when God tells you to move, you gotta move. And yeah, we've just been able to accomplish a lot of things that I would not have been able to accomplish had I stayed in Nigeria. And that's just pretty much what it is. So, you know, ultimately our decision is our decision regardless of what anybody may think. Um, or regardless of how anybody may feel about it but at the same time even though I don't have to explain anything you know I like I said I enjoy being transparent person and being open with you guys because you know there may be somebody else who's out there trying to um you know who may have to have that same big decision like should I leave my husband and go back to my country or you know 
should I allow my wife to, you know, go back to this country or whatever the case may be while she's pregnant? You know, at the end of the day, you just never know who you can help with your story. So I'm going to share things with you guys. You know, I don't share everything, but if I feel like it could potentially help somebody, then yeah, I do. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. I'm about to go finish this food because I only got 30 minutes for my break. <laughs> and yeah, I want to finish these. So um, I'm pretty sure you will see more of the car seat. I'll probably show it in a better video like tomorrow because tomorrow I may actually go ahead and put it in the car. Um, because I'm just getting everything set up and I just want everything to be set up and ready. So yeah i may do that tomorrow um because my doctor's appointment is tomorrow tomorrow morning so <clears throat> anyway let me go finish eating